Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the unexpected banning of the Sahili cat combo. The Guardian is banned, therefore taking the entire deck away with it. So the deck is no longer going to be a tier 1, it's completely unplayable at this point in time. So what happened? Sunday, pre-release. Monday, we have a ban and restriction announcement, which did ban some cards, most notable most notable card would be Sensei's Divining Top was banned from Legacy, but we have no standard bans announced at the time. And then Wednesday, Wednesday night, they came up with the announcement that they will ban this card in standard, therefore taking another tier 1 deck away. Does this card need to be banned? Absolutely. What do I not like about it? What do I severely dislike about this type of announcement? It speaks to the fact that in two days, so the Magic Online Amaket released on Monday, and the, since the set is incredibly weak, what happened was the Sahili cat combo got stronger. So again, the deck that already existed in Standard without any of the new Amaket card additions got stronger. Therefore, they didn't want people to play this old deck, they wanted people to try the new cards, and they banned it. Has this happened before? Yes, they banned Emical. Emical was a surprising and shocking ban in my opinion because it was the name and the face of an entire set slash block. You banned the big bad villain. The villain is supposed to feel powerful and make you feel helpless. But they needed to sell more packs. To do sell more packs, they needed to get people to buy a new deck. And guess what just came out? The Sahili. Sahili and the Guardian was one of the better decks at the time. It's not a super strong deck. And the invention of the deck spiked one of the cards being most promoted, which was Sahili. Sahili was the face of A for Revolt, although it was Chandra set, it's Sahili who's everywhere on a promotional material. So that worked well for Wizards of the Coast. Then they went ahead and banned it. They absolutely should have banned it, but they should have banned it Monday. They did not need to ban it Wednesday. When you ban something Wednesday, when you have two ban announcements and you have two set times where you're supposed to say what you're banning, what you're not banning. I lose all confidence in your ability to assess what's going on if you do not ban the card that needs to be banned on Monday. And then people start making decisions about what decks they want to play. And according to Aaron, 40% of the top decks were Sahili. Therefore, that's why they banned it. However, those 40% of those players have just lost their decks. This deck without the combo is, the pieces are gone. Even the color type is now much weaker, much, much weaker than green black. So we are in a interesting situation where decks are being banned left and right. The two expertise decks were pretty much banned because they changed the way expertise worked with Fuse. And those tech two decks are gone. Miracles is much weaker in Legacy. And even to the point, and they banned Good Tax and Probe, they banned Golgari Grave Troll, and in standard, they banned one of since Oath of the Gatewatch, where we Reflector Mage. Then in Shadows of Innistrad, no bans there. Then Aldric Moon, Emiko, Kaladas, Smuggler's Copter, A for Revolt. Guardian. So in the last five sets, they banned four cards, one for from each of the four of the last five sets. That to me is a little insane. I did not expect this card to survive Monday, but having having survived Monday, I expected them to make a call after the Pro Tour Almaquette. They tested in two days. It's kind of crazy that they can figure this out in two days, where 40% of all the 5-0 and 4-1 deck list were Sahili on Magic Online Standard Leagues. 
So when you have a lot of players playing this deck and winning, they got rid of the deck a lot of players had. And you might say, okay, this deck is OP, this deck is oppressive. My belief is if you want to beat out a new deck, make a good set. Make Amaket powerful. Make it lightning bolt. You know, you want to get rid of the Sahilis, lightning bolt them. Or you make them in such a way that you can make, you don't need to ban a card from another set because that set card, the deck in that set is more powerful and no one will buy the new set unless it gets banned. That's what happened with Emiko. That's kind of what happened with Smuggler's Copter. And that is what's happening with the Guardian right now. It is their 100% mistake that they let this combo out. This combo should have never been let out. And as soon as it got out, as soon as they found out, they should have banned it immediately. What happens is people start building the deck because it is, by their definition, the strongest deck. And who's not going to want to bring build the strongest deck? A lot of people are going to want to net deck it and build. And you might say, oh, well, that sucks for those net deckers. But unless you are playing a weaker deck at your FNM, it is likely that you or your friend have this deck. And it's just not even the right colors anymore. Green, black, delirium is going to be the strongest deck. So my point being, my big takeaway is play magic to play magic. Play magic to play magic. Uh, do not uh, engage in buying extra copies of any magic cards. Do not engage in any speculation. It is way dangerous. They can emergency ban any card they want any time they want, even two days after a regular ban and restriction announcement. I do agree with the banning. I just feel like it had to be banned Monday. And the fact that they banned it Wednesday leads me to believe that any time across any of these formats, even Legacy Modern, they can just do emergency banning whenever. And that leads to a lot of... That leads to the fact that I don't want to build... A deck that is tier one anymore because it will just be banned if the deck is too good it will be banned emico and was too good it was banned smuggler's copter was too good it was banned and the problem is players are pay paying a ton of money for these high-end cards that will help you win the game and now they're useless we just have to continue to buy the new cards so I'm getting a little sick of standard right now because it is such a money grab. And I know money grabs because in Fire Emblem, I spent a ton of money trying to pull Ike. So I finally got an Ike for my phone and my iPad. I have two different games. And I can tell you that was a lot of money I spent, but I never felt it was wasteful. Here, I'm not going to lie. I love this deck. I foiled out this deck. And I just got killed. I, I just got killed decimated i mean ugh, sahili i love this deck um because obviously it has a princess and and it was very good i actually played the filiars into the deck that was my unique build anyway that's it i don't want to talk about this anymore i i meh bye guys